All right, so I have an idea for an experiment. I've been using these sharpening sticks. They're uh, carborundum, made in England, uh, aluminum oxide, 120 grit dressing stones. I happened to find a whole pack of them on the eBay. Um, and these were basically given to me, um, well, these two were given to me by Adam. Um, he had gotten these stones at like some sort of estate sale, ne was never able to find them again, and he swears by these. And I agree, they're fantastic. Um, but since I have a whole pack of 10 here, still in the plastic, I figured this would be really great to do an experiment on. So these get clogged up pretty easily, right? So it'll get, it makes great swarf, but the metal pieces and dirt and stuff get stuck and they kind of stick around. Um, and basically what happens with that is that it actually decreases how much cutting power your stone has if you can't get all the dirt out. So typically what people do, or at least what I do as well, um, is that I'll just lap the stone. However, these are, these are tiny, right? They're a dressing stone, they're a dressing stick even, um, and, uh, there's, there's not a lot to them, right? And you don't even have to lap these. These don't, like, you lap because your stone has gone out of flat, um, which will happen with typical dressing stones. But with this stick, it doesn't go out of flat, actually. Um, it, it'll go out of flat, I mean, eventually, especially if you're not using the entire surface, but... Given how, how tough these are, it's highly unlikely that it's going to happen, but it will clog. So Adam had shown me his solution to it um, after playing around with some stuff uh, and talking to some other uh, natural stone um, folks. He uses fluid, fluid film, and fluid film is lanolin based, and it creates this like bubbling effect. And basically, the idea is that bubbling effect kind of lifts up some of the uh, metal pieces. Other people um, will typically swear by just using whatever honing oil that they use when they clean their stone. Um, so, you know, grit and stuff has gotten into it. Um, they'll just use their honing oil. And then just kind of do like a little wipe, maybe use like a, a toothbrush to just kind of... Um, clean off some grit um, because your oil should lift up some of the stuff that got stuck in there. Um, so I kind of started thinking, since I have this pack of completely identical pieces, I can test out which of these, um, I've got my three in one oil that I typically use on my oil stones the fluid film that I decided to try um, because Adam showed me and I'm the type of person who you show me something really cool, I want to do it too. Uh, and mineral oil, um, which is also um, on the forums, typically used um, as a way to like lift stuff up um, and just like must straight up Windex. Uh, <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a lot of other ways in chemicals and stuff that you can use, but these are the ones that I have. Uh, so we're going to stick with that. So not like the most scientific process for figuring out what is the best uh, way to clean your stone, but what is the best out of these four options? And so the idea is I'm going to use these sticks um, for a period and get them nice and clogged up. Uh, I plan on doing like clog them up and then immediately use these um, on four of the stones, uh, right? One, one stone per, uh, cleaning type. And then another four stones, uh, per cleaning type, um, 
that I'll use after like having the stuff um, after grinding sit in there for a while to just kind of see if there's any differences in ability to clean your stone based off of time and based off of chemical, right? So it's like a within and between group kind of thing. Uh, what I'm going to use are all of these planes um, that I have just sitting in my box of restoration projects that I haven't gotten to yet because they're super dirty and they've got they've got irons that need to be sharpened. Usually I'll do the um, sharpening last, but since I want to do this project, I'm going to do them first. <laughs> uh, so hopefully this gets to be something interesting. Um, maybe I'll find some cool results. Maybe I'll show that they all are basically the same thing. Um, and you all, we all shouldn't worry about what we use. Um, but you know, I think it'll be fun. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Um, and, uh, I'll see you around the workbench.